So I was in the works of looking for a monitor that would expand my editing workspace and also a monitor that would produce accurate colors all with fine details and all these at a relatively cheaper price and I'm so glad I got the opportunity to find what meets my exact demands. review of LG's 25-inch ultra-wide Full HD monitor that comes at a price of only $150. It is such a fair price for the much it offers and it offers an ultra-wide aspect ratio at such a price point at Full HD resolution. I now know why this is the best-selling monitor on Amazon or eBay. Let's start with the design. The monitor features a glossy black finish across its sleek and an almost bezel-free display providing a hint of class for something so affordable. The only issue is that the glossy black texture can attract dust, scratches and fingerprints so easily, so maintaining the monitor's eye-catching looks is essential. The monitor can allow you to tilt it horizontally, that's the only option unfortunately, but you can quickly remove the mechanism to reveal the VESA mounting holes at the back for aftermarket adapters with a similar bolt pattern or even attaching it to the wall if you prefer that way. There are two HDMI 1.4 slots at the back. At least you can still use two host devices such as your main PC and maybe a gaming console, so good to see that. There is a 3.5mm audio jack but there are no built-in speakers with this model so you can only use it as a pass-through for separate audio peripherals which you can connect using the jack or simply your computer. So right off the bat you should keep in mind that this is quite a small display and although it's a 25 inch in diagonal it has that ultra wide aspect ratio of 21 by 9 so it's actually as tall as a regular 20 inch 16 by 9 widescreen display but much more wider which by the way may take some time getting used to at first. However, such a small screen size has its advantages. With a screen resolution of 2560x1080, you get a rich pixel density which makes for plenty of screen space and sharp details without any necessary scaling. Plus, the monitor is based on an IPS panel with 8-bit color depth which is up to 16.7 million colors an immersive 178 degree wide viewing angle and over 99% sRGB color gamut which ensures accurate, consistent and vibrant color quality. Other specifications include a 250-nit peak brightness and a static contrast ratio of 1000 is to 1, which is standard for a display at this price range. You get a stunning experience especially when watching movies as the 21 by 9 aspect ratio is close to the aspect ratio many movies are natively shot at, which is 2.35 by 1. In video games that support the ultra wide format, you will get a wider field of view for a more engaging gaming experience. However, in video games that do not support 21 by 9 aspect ratio, you'll have to choose between black borders or a stretched out image, but luckily most of the games allow you to scale it to fit the full screen perfectly. It has a very low input lag, so you would not notice any delays when playing video games and also the response time speeds amounts to only 5 milliseconds which is sufficient to eliminate trailing of fast moving objects. Also worth considering is that this iteration misses the 75Hz feature and FreeSync functionalities of its bigger brothers, so if those features tickle your gaming desires, you have to consider spending a little bit more. <coughs> this
This monitor supports screen split which divides the screen into partitions for easier multitasking and also some interesting gaming features that include the black stabilizer which improves visibility in darker games. We have the dynamic action sync which minimizes input lag and also pre-calibrated picture presets and also standard adjustments. There is also a picture by picture mode to take advantage of the two HDMI slots, meaning you can run simultaneous video outputs from two different hosts on the screen. You also get a flicker free safety screen and a blue light filter to keep your eyes comfortable for longer periods of time. So for a gamer's perspective, this may be an absolute pick hands down, even though it has other compromises, but at least it justifies its price tag. For typical users or even video editors, this is your definite pick. So that's my review guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. I've been your host, Maxwell.